Hi, I'm Shivana, one of the Maverick makeup artists from the Cloak Room, and welcome to the 5 minute makeover Christmas special. Chances are you're seeing red, but in a very, very happy and jolly way. You're either wearing it or you want it in your makeup, and let's face it, Christmas is in the air, it's the holiday spirit, and red is the right color to wear. So what we're going to do today is address the fundamental issue which terrifies some women and makes some women look like absolute glam dolls, red lips. How to get them right and which shade works for you. Red lips are an absolute classic. They reinvent themselves every season and have actually stood the test of time. Now red lips are also a slightly contested situation. There are women like Penelope Cruz, Salma Hayek, Sofia Viraga who make them look absolutely stunning. And then there are some women who can't quite pull it off. But it's not your fault, it's actually the fact that you're wearing the wrong shade of red. Now there are many, many shades of red. If you go into the red spectrum, you've got everything from your really, really bright reds to your deeper, more friendlier maroons. Now Indian skin tone tends to be slightly on the yellow side, so maybe going with a really, really bright neon red isn't your best bet. But the only way you can tell is if you actually go and try. So now red lips, how do you work them? You can work them in their simplest form with a tinted red lip balm, which is what I have got on. It's not too much of a shock of red, it just colors your lips very slightly and it makes you a little more comfortable as you go on to your red journey. Your next level could be red gloss. Now you need to be a little careful with gloss if it tends to be not so sticky, a little kind of liquidy if I may, and if it tends to bleed off your mouth. In all honesty, we use our mouths a lot. We eat, we talk, you know, so there's constantly motion and stuff going on. So it's very easy for the color to bleed out and look ugly. Now the easiest way to counter that is with a lip pencil. Now there are two ways to do this. Basically the idea is to secure the color onto your lips. The easiest way to do this is with a lip pencil. Now the rule of thumb is generally that you match the color of your lip pencil to the shade that you're wearing. Please do not do the dark lip liner and the light lipstick shade which you see a lot of women doing. It looks ugly and it's really not doing you any favors. Most of our lips have a natural darkening around the line of your lips which kind of naturally gives them a shape. So that's fine, you don't need to enhance it further. If however you find that your lip liner, your crayon lip liner and your color don't match, the easy way to get around that is to use a nude one. Now don't put this on your lips, but try and line just around so that it frames your lip. The basic idea of a crayon lip liner is to seal in the color. Because when you sweat, when you talk, you're drinking water, you're eating, it tends to wipe the color of your lips slowly but surely. So what a crayon pencil or even if you have any foundation, if you're wearing foundation, you can also do a ring of foundation around your lips. Make sure you blend it in correctly and properly. So you can use that as well. So what I'm going to do now is use a nude crayon liner to line Revati's lips, blend it into her skin a little bit before I use the color on her. As you can see, there's a very clear line around Revati's lips. Now we can't wander around with any kind of hard lines on our face. So what I'm going to do is now blend the crayon wax into her skin to make sure it's absolutely seamless before I apply the color. I'm going to start off by just putting a bit of red lip balm onto her lips just to give me a base for the color before I work with an actual lipstick. This also helps in hydrating the lips in case your lips are dry. There's no point putting a really strong color on dry lips because if it cracks then it becomes very visible and looks very ugly. As you can see, Revati's lips definitely have color on them now. All I've used is a tinted lip balm. If that is your comfort level with the color, go right ahead, stop here, wear this and go out. Just remember to carry the product with you because this isn't going to give you too much of a long wear. It's going to wipe off really easily. What I'm going to do now is layer this with a lipstick. I'm going to be using a lip brush simply because the lips tend to have these very tiny tricky areas and sometimes just using the wand of your lipstick can leave you with an ugly smear. This is what a lip brush generally looks like. 
it's really fine it's really firm and it's got a very thin edge simply so it can get into all those little areas where your lipstick can't so as you can see the color is now well and truly on Revati's lips what I like to do is have a second lip brush with me as well because for whatever little smudges that might be happening at the absolute corners I can take them off with this as you can see Revati is sporting a really nice pair of bright red lips that is because she has a really fair skin tone if you have a skin tone that doesn't match hers which is slightly warmer than hers go for a darker shade the moment your red lips jump off your face the shade doesn't work for you they have to be the focus of attention but they shouldn't take all the attention away from you if you have any questions queries comments anything you'd like to say to us or hear from us please subscribe to five minute makeovers we love hearing from you We'd also like to take this opportunity to wish you a very Merry Christmas, a very Happy New Year and a wonderful festive season.